Welcome to the Tech Nexus. Today, I will be guiding you through the process of how to make a bootable USB using Rufus. Rufus is a free tool which can be used to flash ISO files to USB devices. These ISO files can be used to install operating systems such as Windows. This makes Rufus a very useful tool for those looking to install a new operating system. Before we start, you need two things. You need a USB memory stick with a capacity of 8GB. You also need the Rufus app for Windows, which can be downloaded from the link in the description. With all that said, let's get started. This first section will focus just on Windows users. Other ISOs will be covered later in the video. Once Rufus has been installed, press the down arrow next to select and press download. Once this has been done, select the version of Windows you would like to install. After this has been done, select the release version, language, edition and architecture type. Once you have done this, press download. Make sure that you save the file somewhere you will remember. Now wait for the download to be completed. This may take some time. Once the file has been downloaded, press start to flash the files onto your USB. Ensure that all data on the USB has been backed up elsewhere, as all files on the USB will be deleted. After this has been completed, you will have made a bootable USB with your selected version of Windows on it. You can check that the process has worked successfully by checking the files which are present on your USB. In this section, we will look at flashing other ISOs for different operating systems. First, find the ISO of the OS you want to download. In my case, I will be using Zorin OS Lite. Once your ISO has completed installing, open Rufus. Press select and find the ISO which you downloaded. After this, click start. Ensure that all data is backed up off your USB before you begin flashing the ISO.
After this has been completed, you will have successfully created a bootable USB with your chosen OS on it. You can check that the process has worked successfully by checking the files which are present on your USB. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please consider subscribing to the Tech Nexus if this helped you. Have a great day.